Hi guys, it's Carol and I'm here to share with you eight ways to deal with uncomfortable feelings while you're at home. We all have those uncomfortable feelings, those things that we just don't want to talk about, whether it's anger or sadness or fear or frustration. And sometimes just doing other things will help to inspire those conversations and to foster those uh, foster those talks so that we can talk about really what's bothering us and and help ourselves to feel a little bit better. So here are eight ways to help with those conversations. The first is called let's move, right? And it's simply that, movement, because movement is a great way to release all those negative emotions. So go for a bike ride, do some yoga, um, go for a run, you know, do something together, talk about it. And as you're sweating it all out, talk about what's inside. You know, with the little ones, they love dance parties, so have a little dance party and dance it out. The next one is called Feelings Hopscotch, and I did this all the time with my middle schoolers. Well, not all the time, because I'm in New York, but anytime that there was a nice day and I could bring them outside, I would love to go outside and play hopscotch. And uh, But instead of this, the little numbers like one, two, three, I would change those numbers up with something to do. like compliment a neighbor or talk about the last time you were feeling really stressed or who is someone that always makes you smile when you're feeling really lousy. Substitute the numbers for a question or a feeling and talk about that. And it's a fun way to really share what's on your mind. Another one is called life's blessings, right? We focus a lot on all the negative things that sometimes we overlook, the good things that have happened to us. So here, you're just going to create a little memory book or um, a journal page, or maybe even a list, right? Maybe some pictures of all the things that you are feeling, bring you joy, bring you a little bit of happiness, bring you excitement. Put down your favorites, put down those things that you love and that you look forward to. Next is called Let's Talk About It, right? Tacos are the rage and everybody loves their tacos. But here, as you're talking about your feelings, you're going to actually build a taco. And I have for you this little talking guideline, right? So you can even cut up some construction paper for this or color the little picture as you go. But as you do it, the shell, right? So where were you when this thing happened to you? The meat, who else was there? The salsa, what feelings did you have? Lettuce, how did you respond, right? So you can build your own taco and just talk about a situation and just work it through and this will help. The next one that I have for you is just artistic expressions, right? Visual expression of feelings is a really great way to get out what's inside, right? Art is easier than words sometimes. So use that art to create um, the conversation, right? Encourage them to draw a situation or what's on their mind. And then if they're ready, talk about it. The next one's called What's in My Heart. And with this, you're just going to make a representation of what's in their, what's in their heart and you're gonna label it. It's really, really easy. You can simply just draw a heart, right? I have one here for you. And then you can You'll see I have some things on the bottom. It's a little color code. You can use different colors or symbols to say what's in your heart, right? And I have a few pages. Here's another one. And then here's one I started doing. And just to give you an example, right? So this uh, like purplish color is uh, joy. The blue is uh, sadness. Green is fear. And you can see what's in my heart. The next one is just going for a nature walk, being mindful, observing what's there. In this, you might not be doing a lot of talking, you might be doing more quiet observation, right? Because sometimes when we can stimulate our senses, we will become more mindful of where we are in the moment. And when we're feeling in the moment, we're gonna forget about all those other things that are 
weighing on our mind. So as you're doing this nature walk, think of it as a scavenger hunt. Think of, look for all the things that you can find that are blue or all the things that you can find, all the different leaves that you find or how many different flowers do you see, right? But whatever it is, be observant, right? Notice the smells, notice the sounds, notice the colors and just take part of what's around you. And last but not least, we have captain, crew, and cargo. And I know this sounds a little weird, but think of it as a, your life as a journey in flight, right? So you have, if your life is like taking off in an airplane, right? There are people that are gonna help you on your journey, right? The captain, this is the leader. This is the person who's your strength, your rock and your strength, right? They're going to really focus the direction of where your, your flight is going. And then you have your crew. The crew is there to help, right? Make sure that it's pleasant and enjoyable. So who are your crewmates in your flight? And last but not least, you have your cargo. You have those things that are holding and weighing you down and they're really dead weight, right? So think about a situation and try to name your captain, your crew, and your cargo. And not only that, think about the different situations where maybe you have been the captain or a member of the crew or your cargo for someone else. It's fun and it's a little different, but it'll walk you through life's journey. Anyway, those are the eight ideas that I have for you for now to talk about those uncomfortable feelings at home. Until next time, have fun and do some activities. Bye for now.